as you see, my new fuel filter water separ separator came in today, the IFJF, brand new in the box from Amazon, the R12T, comes nicely packaged in some foam wrap. As you see, it's got a really nice aluminum housing with a, what appeared to be a very fine pleated filter and a water cap for separating the water out. What you want to do after you unbox this is to lube these O-rings. I like to use O-ring lubricant. You could also use motor oil. O-ring lubricant seems to work better for me, but I have it. If you don't, by all means, use motor oil, but do not put it together dry. Screw it back on, lightly. Then oil the O-ring. Screw it back on, also lightly. You don't want to over-tighten things because you'll never get it back apart by hand. Also in the box, you get a nice uh, business card. Two of them, and this is the important pieces. Two plugs, quarter inch pipe plugs, and two quarter inch what appear to be three eighths barb fittings. Now before you put them in, you want to position this on your vehicle so you'll know where it sits. I've already picked it out where it goes on my vehicle, so I know I'm gonna to want to plug these two up, one in, one out, one in, one out. You can do it alternate sides or both sides as long as you have it correctly attached to the fuel tank and fuel uh, pump. Now, I will have to put some Teflon sealer on these threads. I'm just doing this as a mock-up for the video purposes. But as you see, that's what comes in the box. Very easy to do. Um, before you, after you install it, I'm going to do it before, but after you install it, the instructions say to fill this filter up with fuel. That just aids in, uh, priming the pump. I'm going to do it before I put it on a vehicle, so I don't have to struggle getting the fuel filter off and then fighting it back underneath there and spilling it everywhere. But, the next video will be after it's installed on the truck, on the, uh, I'm putting it on my Jeep, actually. I've been having water getting in my carburetor. I believe they designed this for diesel engines, but it'll certainly work on gasoline. It'll work on anything with fuel and it has water in it. So, next time you see this unit, R12T by IFJF, it will be on my old 1978 Jeep. See you later, guys. Okay, now I have installed the IFJF fuel water separator. The Let's see what number it is. The R12T. Right here we have the in that came from the tank. Right here is the outlet that goes to my fuel pump. This is a air purge. And down here, remove some wiring. That is the water basket. This is the water drain. I attached the hose to it so it wouldn't drip all over my vehicle. Simply open that. It goes out the hose whenever you see water sitting in here. I chose to rivet it so I didn't have to try to reach around and put some nuts on the back of the bolts. Some people bolt it, some people rivet it. But there you go. Took about 10 minutes to install it. Very simple job. Thank you guys.